So morning class. So today we are going uh, to learn about projectile motion, but we are going to use FET simulation. So we know that uh, we have to go to the website. For me, I'm gonna using Google Chrome. So I click to Google. You click to Google. Then you go to the link you search for FET. After searching FET, there is a FET fellowship, FET simulation free download, FET Chrome.web. But for me, I just go to FET.corado.educate simulation free. So you click on it. Then this screen will appear. So you go to simulation, you click for physics. So after clicking physics, this, uh, this is sub subject comes that physics is ticked. There is a motion, sound wave, energy, Heat and thermal, quantum phenomena, there is the light and radiation, there is electricity at the magnet and circuit, but there is also another like a chemistry branch. If you are interested in the chemistry, there is general chemistry, quantum chemistry, there is also a branch of mathematics. So, but for me, we are just interested in physics. So physics is ticked. As you have said, today we are going to learn about, to, about projection. So you come to the face, you search for projectile. So you look where it is written in projectile motion, like here it is written in pendulum bulb, there is a state of matter. So click or no projectile motion. After clicking, so it is still loading. So it appears projectile motion. You click on it. So FET interactive simulation will appear. So you have to wait. So you can choose either introduction, you can choose the vector, you can choose the rag. You can also choose lab. So because they are going to look like a performing experiment, let me choose the lab, lab experiment. After choosing lab, the screen will appear. So we have, this is the timometer. You can measure time of a projectile where it, at the time it is launched. You can measure the horizontal range. You can measure the height using this timometer. You can also use a, a ruler, tape measure. Tape measure, you can, you can increase the length depending on what distance you are interested to measure on the projectile. So then you can also choose which object to use. There is what you call cannonball, there is a cannon body, there is a custom, there is a, a tank bell, there is a golf, there is a basketball, there is a football. Let us set like football. If it is set, then you can also set the mass of the projectile. You come here, you can increase the mass or you can decrease mass of the projectile. You can increase the diameter, or you can also decrease the diameter. But for us, we are in the Earth, so gravitation is 9.81, or you can increase like a, the value. But since we are in the Earth, let us use G, which is 9.81. You can set air resistance or not. If I try to know that if the air resistance is having an impact on the gravity, you can set 
But for me, we are going to use where we assume that the, there's no air resistance to make the model simple. Then you can set the angle, but the maximum is 90 degrees. You can set the angle to zero. So in most equations, we are just asked that the height, the projectile is launched maybe on the top of the tower. So you can increase the height of the projectile. Here is like you have 10 meters height. You can increase it to like to 12 height. You can decrease. You can set the angle. You can also set the initial velocity. You just click here. Or you can reduce the velocity. OK, thanks. I think uh, you have got how to set each component where you are interested. But let me just start when the, it is launched at, at the ground where the height is 0. It is set at zero height. Then my projectile, I'm gonna shooting a projectile at an angle of, let me say, 30 degrees. We are going to launch the projectile at 30 degrees with velocity. Let me set like, a, like 20. Let me set it at 20 degrees. Then I can shoot. So it's a very amazing. You see, uh, now the projectile is launched at an angle of 30 with the initial velocity of 20. Then at each moment, you want to know where the projectile is, what is the maximum height that has been traveled, what is the maximum range. Then it is time to use the, the meter. So you bring the thermometer. Then there is a different coordinates. Let me start saying. So this is a coordinate one. At this coordinate, you can know the time, you can know the height, and you can know the range. So at each point of the projectile, you can calculate the range, the time, and the height. So using a meter, using a meter at this point, for example, the time we used is 0 0.7, the range is 12.12, and the height is 4.6 meters. Then, for example, at, at maybe at this time, so, Time is one second, the range is 17.32, and the height is 5.09. But let us see if we change the angle. But maintain the speed. We will change the angle at 50. Let me set it at 50. And then let me remove the ammeter and then shoot. You see, again, the height is increasing as the angle increases. For example, the maximum height. Maximum height is 11.96 meters. The time to reach the maximum height is 1.56. Range is the distance covered horizontally is 20.08. Let us see if we change the angle. Let us set the angle at 60 degrees. If we set at 60 degrees, then again, you see, the height is increasing, but the range is decreasing. Let me also reduce the velocity. Let me put it at 
at 16. Let me first rub this one. And we are going to discuss the change of the 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 change of the height and the range according to the velocity while the angle is kept constant. Let us shoot. You see? If we measure the height, we are getting the height is 9.6. Yeah, 7. So let us increase the velocity, but the angle remains not changing. Again, we shoot. Let us put it at 17. Again, we shoot. At, if, at 14. Again, you can discuss. So we have seen that the Two factors for projectile, it is just the angle from which it is set, and uh, for again also initial velocity, it is being set. But let us see if we launch it at height h. Because in the ministry we are using to, to shoot a bomb when you are inclining at a certain height. So we see it is set at, an, at the height of uh, of 10 meters from the ground and it is inclined at an angle of, uh, let me say it is 30. At an angle of 30 with a velocity again 14 meters per second. Let us shoot. You see? Then you can again bring the meter at each coordinate, you can know time, you can know the range, and uh, you can know the height. So let us see, decrease velocity to 13 and shoot. So let me give you an assignment to discuss with the, within the group and check if the fit simulation are uh, consistent with the mathematical formula of projectile motion, but I have changing the speed limit set to 20, 20 meters per second. So up, uh, the problem says, a machine gun is thrown a projectile with a speed of 20 meters per, per second. Here you have to put a full stop. So find the range, comma, the maximum height reached by projectile, and the time to reach the ground. Remember, when you say time to reach the ground, it is known as the time of flight. When a projector is projected through an angle of 45 degrees. So what I want you is that you have to discuss mathematical formulas, you get the answer. You go to the website, you search for fate simulation, then you measure and see whether you are getting the same answer. Please provide the comment if it is giving the consistent answer or not. Thanks.